Okay, here's an update on my Remington 700 uh, SPS Varmint. It's a 26 inch barrel chambered in 308. This is going to be a quick video, about five minutes, so I, I am going to be talking a little fast because it's recording at 4K. Uh, it's just going to give the viewers uh, a better resolution. Plus, I want to see how this Note 4 does actually a good video and lighting. Um, okay, first thing you notice is the Bell and Cross and A5 metalist stock. It's a green stock. Went with this stock because it has the adjustable cheek rest and adjustable length of pull, and it just looked badass. I mean, that's that's simply uh, the main reason why I got it. Plus, I'm going to get better accuracy because it's aluminum bedded. The next thing you notice is the detachable magazine. It's a Wyatt's detachable magazine. It holds five rounds. I went with the five rounds instead of the ten, simply because uh, the ten round just made it look kind of stupid. Uh, five round looks great. It gives me the option of um, getting follow-up shots very quickly. And if I'm at the range, I really don't like to be filling around with just one bullet. And I'd rather just be able to uh, eject one, charge one. Um, the next thing you notice is the Champion bipod. Um, that is a six to nine inch bipod. Uh, the next thing that you should notice is the scope. Uh, the scope has, it's actually mounted on a Weaver 20 MOA base. It has the worn, um, quick release scope rings. And that's a primary arms four to 14 fo first focal plane scope with the Butler Creek flip up caps. Uh, went with that scope, uh, 4 to 14 powers, good enough to get me out to 1,000 yards. Um, the the rings, uh, I went with the rings because LaRue Tactical and all those other rings were just insane for quick release. Um, it's a 30, 30 millimeter tube, so these rings are very easily uh, accessible uh, and they're quick release. So to me, if I take, if I, if I sight it in at 100 yards, I take it off and I put it back on the same spots. If it if it if it zeros and it's no change, then you know it's it does its job. The other thing that's on there is the bolt knob, and it's a bigger bolt knob, and I believe it's made by KRS. Um, and it's just for more grip. It, it looks it looks pretty nice on it as well. Um, so you know total build I want to say so total build kept me under two thousand, and that was the point of this project is to build my Remington seven hundred three hundred eight. And under 2000 because if you wish to buy the Remington that has the Bell and Cross in stock, I mean, it's already at about $1,700. Uh, I ordered my Remington 700 on Cheaper Than Dirt. I think I got it for about $650 to $700. I can't, I can't remember the exact price, but I want to say it was $650 to $700 plus a $40 mail-in rebate, which I have not received yet from Remington. Mind you, this gun was purchased like in June. Um... So I haven't got to shoot it yet, but I am going to very soon. Um, the Bell and Cross and A5 metal stock was around 450, um, 475. I want to say around around that price. It wasn't quite at 500. With shipping, it was it was about 500. So um, yeah, you can probably round that up. The wife's detachable magazine was a 250 approximately in shipping. I purchased that off of Midway. Uh, purchased the stock off of Red Hawk rifles. Uh, primary arm scope, I want to say it was about 200 and or 200 or 250. I can't remember, but I believe it was at 200 and I got it off of Amazon. So it wasn't too much different than primary arms price. The ring, 70 bucks. The MOA base, about 25. Um, the bipod, $40, which that bipod actually had on my. Uh, Stag Arms AR-15, and then once I changed it to Magpul Furniture, I actually uh, just th took that off. Plus, this will be the long-range rifle, and I'll use that for more on a range for tactic, um, target practice and, you know, what kind of groupings can I get? Is it going to give me the half MOA um, you know, accuracy at 100 yards? Uh, the knob was about $30. Um, so let me, let me know what you guys think uh, about the setup. It's. I tried to be unique with the setup. I'm not gonna put a thousand dollar scope on this rifle. Um, it's just for me. It's just not worth it. Um, you know, my next purchase or my next rifle purchase is gonna be one or two things, and uh, depending on what I want to spend. So it's, it'll either be another AR-15, which will be a Colt. So I have a Stag Arms and a Colt, or it's gonna be the Savage 10 BA, uh, chambered in 338 Lapole Magna. So we'll see. I, I want to see how this shoots. Um, and it's all going to be for hunting. So please subscribe. Thank you.